Hi everybody, this is Debbie at the Wildly Whimsical Crafting Loft. Well today I'm going to show you guys how to make a slap front invitation or a slap front um, little mini topper for your mini album. These are great and they're little whimsical ideas and I thought you might want to learn how to make this. So here we go. Let's get started. Well the first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need a uh, square piece of paper. Basically any size or shape that you would like to have your little invitation to be. I'm going to use an oversized sheet of paper uh, just to kind of show you guys how this is done. But these are great little ideas. You can put these on the front of your mini albums, your scrapbooking pages. Um, also they make great invitations. So that's what I would suggest is that, that an invitation is always a a nice gift to get, and when it kind of has a whimsical flair to it, I kind of like that a lot. So let's uh, get started. We're going to go ahead and we're going to start out with this piece of paper this size, because this is the size of invitation I'm going to make. Now you can make them any size that you want, large, small, or whatever. But that's the first thing you're going to need. Cut it in a square, and um, it, it, it'll it just work out wonderful for you. Let me show you how the rest of this works. The next thing you're going to need is you're going to need to take another square that's going to look like it's framed up inside of there. So when you take your next cut at the next square, you're going to want to leave your frame edge around the side of this paper. And so you can see here that it has a framing edge to it. Um, and just, you know, you can leave that border edge or that frame edge any size that you'd like. Once you have that done, I want you to fold the paper in half, just like this. Get your good little crease going in there. You can see that I've already kind of cut mine a little bit. And this is where you're going to make your little slats at. Once you have that cut, I use these little shears that have the decorative cuts on them. You can use anything that you'd like. You're going to just simply cut right in here like this. Do not go all the way to the edge or you'll have two pieces of paper instead of one single sheet. After you've made the cut, and I like to put at least two of mine, you will see that you'll have this flat that comes up. This is going to be where you're going to insert one, one tag. This flat will come up and it will insert the other tag. Once you have those cuts made, go ahead and go back to that first sheet that you cut and then flip the other sheet over and I want you to glue just right around here all along this square piece. Don't glue right in here. Your tags will slip. The only thing that you're going to glue is you're going to take a small line and you're going to glue right across there and make it close to the top of this other slat. Like when you're gluing this slat, make it right here so you're going to have a little bit of room to slide that tag in there. If you glue this whole thing, your tag will not have any room to fit in that flap. So once you glued that down, you'll be able to pull that up just like that. And you're going to set, set that tag right in here like this. And that's going to be one of your tagging. Once you have that tag in there, you're going to be able to go ahead with a smaller tag and you're going to be able to also insert this into here. Sorry about my hand in the way. You can also be able to insert that in there. So you're going to be able to place two tags in that. So let me take you back to the one that I have made. You can see that what I did was I have, I've placed two tags in here. One right here and one on top just to add a little bit of whimsy to it so they have a couple. This is going to be the invitation and the RSVP card. When you give them an RSVP card, what they're able to do is they're able just to put that back in an envelope and mail it to you with a simple yes or no answer on that. makes it really easy for them to respond to any invitation that you have. And then I tucked a little imagine tag under here, just a little friendship note that let my friend know that I was thinking about her. You can add as many of these flaps that you want to those. I added some embellishment to it and some rhinestones. And um, I added an initial brooch right here. And I thought it would make a great little gift to give her just in the invitation. But you can do whatever you would want to with them. 
I hope that you enjoy that. Go out and try to make some of these little invites or add them to your mini albums or scrapbooking pages. Thank you for visiting the Wildly Whimsical Crafting Loft. Have a great day. Go out and be creative.